Howdy, everybody. Okay, so this is the building that I previously made, which is currently in the map. Um, it is based off of an actual building uh, across the street from the Empire State Building. On uh, West 34th and 5th. So, in today's stream, what I want to do is build a new building for the map. And I'm thinking something from 6th Avenue. So, if you guys know 6th Avenue in New York City, also known as Avenue of the Americas, uh, there's a lot of major events and parades that go through there. Um, you can see videos of it from the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Um... It's a very nice street with a lot of nice high-rises along the sides. And today, what I want to do, since the most requested thing in the Discord vote for me to build in a stream is uh, new buildings for the map. So just general buildings to add more uh, decoration and stuff to the map to make it look more like New York City. So that's, that's, that's going to be the main focus of the stream. Um, but the first and major thing that we need to do is find a building. And I wanted to do this with you guys as the community so uh, we can all find a good building to make together. So what I have done in this stream here is we have uh, Google Maps open. So we can see um, the buildings together. So I really really want to find a very nice looking building uh, that we can make. The common problem that I've seen, um, one of my biggest things is for New York City buildings is the fact that they have commercial buildings as a different style from the rest of the building. Um, because having, the t having alternating styles or multiple different designs for the building uh, makes it a lot harder and takes a lot longer to do. So there's a lot of very nice buildings. This is the uh, main part of 6th Avenue where you have a lot of high-rises uh, on this side here that you commonly see in videos of like the parades and stuff. Here we have an interesting building. And I also run into another thing that I have to consider for the stream is that the buildings, much like the uh, Ladder 2 station uh, that, I've been plant that I've been working on, uh, we need to... It's a very nice Dodge Charger. Um, we need to scale them to the size of the blocks that we have in game. So that causes a little bit of stretching and things like that um, that will kind of distort the building and make it look off. So, but I'm interested in building some of these types of high-rises here for the stream because they're relatively simple and consistent. Um, so it's a lot more copy and paste, making them a lot easier so we can get a lot more done during the stream. So let me know. Uh, if you think 
that we should do one of these. And if you find any interesting stuff, uh, please post it on the Discord, IRL NYC pictures, if you have a picture of a building or something that you think we should add. And here we have, <coughs> on this side, we have Rockefeller Center. And I've been there twice. Very nice place. It's where the uh, Christmas tree and the skating uh, rink are. Um, but I don't know if we're going to actually make this area in-game. Um, although I do think it would be a very nice touch. So we have we have these buildings that I'm that I'm kind of interested in doing today, or we have the glass one over here, but just just some of these high rises um, is that I want to add to the game because it just would add so much to have more tall buildings in the uh, midtown area of our game. So we really need to make the first step of making a building and uh, figuring out what we want to build. Here's an interesting... Yeah, this building looks pretty simple. So we want to make the... And there's the ESU truck over there. Do we want to make the black one... Here's a nice one too. I've took pictures of the I've taken pictures of this building. There's some interesting stuff over here. All right, so do we want to do the black building or one of the gray ones over here? I don't know if these buildings are all like, are they the same plaza? They're all in different blocks. But they look similar. And for these ones, we don't have to make them to the size of the plot because they have extra space that they give that would be really nice to have some like park settings around the around the buildings just places that you can relax this one doesn't look too difficult let's check out the back just to make sure So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of interesting buildings to choose from here. And I really want to hear from you guys in the uh in the stream comments right now. Uh if you think that we should build the one over there or one of these. And these buildings actually look similar. So they might have been built by the same company or designed by the same architect or something along those lines. They, but they look very similar. There's some obvious differences. But they look... Yeah, look, even the building expands out at the at the same spot. All right, so now we have the choice. Do we want to make the gray ones or do we want to make the black one? I actually kind of like the black one. And I think it would be a lot easier to make. Um, although with this one, I may start with the windowed sections up here before I get into the 
store sections that seem to work on the last build. So this is Marsh and McLennan. Some company in here maybe, or is that like the name of the building? Not sure. So we have, uh, it kind of gets gray over here because of the sunlight. Wait, so that also poses another question. Is the building gray or is it black? Because the building looks black because it's in the, the shadows on the other side. Uh, and this building actually looks relatively simple. So is this something that we want to build in the stream today? This one actually does take up uh, the whole length of the plot, I believe, anyway. Actually, wait. Here we have the sidewalks. No. They just made the sidewalks larger. And they had the plants. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I mean, these buildings don't have to be the scale of the plot. That makes my life a lot easier. I should approximate it, though. But I think this might be, I think this one is the one that we should build. How many people in the stream chat agree? So yeah, this building actually kind of looks like gray. Could be like sun faded or whatever. Those parts that are exposed. But then this part over here, I guess it's in the shadow most of the time. And I think the black might look a lot better in game. So this might be the one that we're going to build. We can make it like a dark gray. So in that case, we decided on the building. I'm all over the place right now on my on my end. So many research tabs on my computer for uh, references for like NYPD and uh, buildings and everything like that. So, um, hmm. So first thing that I should probably do is expand the base plate. Let's max it out. All right, and then what I'll do is move this building over. OK, 
Okay. And let's grab one of the one of the uh, large plots, maybe. Fuck! Now I have the decision on if I. <laughs> Now I have to make the decision on if I use one of the large plots or the smaller ones. Alright, so let's go into 2D view here. Uh, we got uh, Times Square right there. And this building itself actually looks pretty squared off. So if Times Square is right there and this one's over, then I guess we're going to have to put it... This one would be eighth. And Broadway intersects what avenue? Seventh? Hmm. Because then the problem becomes... The problem becomes um, it's going to have to... The building would get sandwiched between the Empire State Building, 432 Park Avenue, and the Ladder 2 Station. So, let me show you this. Right, so, this over here is 8th Avenue. It has the uh, Engine 54, Ladder 4 station on it, right? So, we have Broadway. And Times Square. And then this would then be... This would then be 7th. And this would be 6th. And then the problem is, is that if it's on this side of 6th Avenue, is that we have the uh, 432 Park Ave building. We have the latter two stations going to go over here. And then we have the Empire State Building. So it would kind of be sandwiched between uh, these plots. And that's what I'm kind of worried about. Okay, so that building is at the corner of uh, 6th and, come on maps, 6th and 45th. 6th and 45th. And where is the Empire State Building in relation to it? 432 Park Ave is there. And the Empire State Building is all the way down there.
And the Empire State Building is on 5th Avenue. So we have a problem. So let me go to, let me go to, um, the, the Trello really quick and see if we have any plans for map expansions to the east other than the uh, highway. And that is a negative. So it's a uh, hmm it's a little it may be a little messy cuz then that building would be sandwiched between them Although it depends cuz if it's on the side closer to 7th Avenue then we would be fine so let's go back So the building is, I believe this is it, right? Yes. Okay, so the building's right there. Let's go back into this view. And it's on the right side of the 6th Avenue. Shoot. So how are we going to deal with this predicament? Do we want to just say fuck it and put it on one of these two one of these two plots? This is going to go here. And kind of mix. Mix them. Actually, wait. Unless we move that there. But then that wouldn't be right. What's the game plan everybody? I need I need some feedback.
Yeah, the the that might be that might have to be the case. And um we could probably put one of those three buildings maybe here on this block and then put the black ones put the black one here and we could like incorporate both of them. I don't know how we would do that. Make more space between the buildings and make bigger road for ladder trucks and other what <laughs> these these roads are as wide as you're gonna get, which by the way, you can fit three trucks side by side on this road with space between them, and thus was the whole goal of why they are as wide as they are. Yeah, so I guess for the stream we're gonna have to say fuck it, and put one of, and then put the buildings on one of these uh, spaces. How do you become a firefighter? Okay, you know what I should do? I should make an, uh, a frequently asked questions uh, video for everybody to answer the question. All right, so let's switch over to the other studio. All right, so the building itself is at 45th and 6th Ave. With some expanded uh, sidewalk space. So how much distance would we take? Maybe 20 studs, and we could do that for all sides. All right, so this more transparent part is the original base. Then I'm determining how wide we're going to make it. Okay, so th then the building itself is more squared off, kind of only slightly rectangular. Let's try and go 245 by 260. I think that might be accurate. Because I don't want to take up the entire space so we can put more buildings on the other side. And they have a they have like a kind of park behind it as well. So there's so many hard decisions that I have to make here for building this as to how I can do this accurately while also set, while also maintaining uh the current availability of the space in the game. 
Maybe we could make it more rectangular so that way I would have more space for other buildings. I mean, that's not bad. Can we cut it back further? Let's go 220. That's fine. That might be our measurement here. Then height will be determined uh, when we actually start making the building here. All right, so I'd say we're off to a decent start. Okay, so the first thing that I should start with is the um, the upper floors, I believe, because they're more, uh, probably more uh, copy and paste, so they would be a lot easier to do. And I don't know if I'm going to do all these exact details that they have here. I think I'm just going to keep it more simple. Uh, just so we can help the game out a little bit by not overloading it with a bunch of shit. Okay, so the bottom part. I'll give it about three feet. And then there is a... One foot area where it indents. Let's take it back ten. Now let's make it a darker color. I want to go kind of black. Get one of those custom colors. And if that if we don't like that, then we can change it. Alright, and then we go up. And we can increase the height. Just a little bit more. How's that look? Good. All right. So, and then we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pillars. Is this on the 6th Avenue side? Yes. Six pillars on the 6th Avenue side. So, uh, that also does create an issue because then the pillars would be even... So there's no center divider. Hmm. So let's make the... I think we should make the corners. Because that would be these parts. So 6th Avenue would be here. Let's do the corners. So if 6th Avenue is there, then we go over on the Google Maps reference to this corner. All right. So 
we have a... I think that looks about right. Make that a cube. And then go up. Unless we want to go in. Yeah, that might be better. All right, so let's try something with a calculator. I'm not the best at figuring out how to make an even distance of six pillars here. But let's try some stupid shit uh, and see if it works. So what do we have? This is 260. Two sixty divided by six is forty three point three 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 repeating. So what I'm going to do is go forty three point three. But then that actually, hmm. If only making these buildings was a lot easier. So, ooh, okay, we do have a midpoint that I can actually reference. Right, so if I make this two, okay, so we would need to calculate the windows. I think we can go out one more. And then six by twenty. Sure. Maybe eight. Okay, so we do have a little bit of overlap, but here's the thing, because we already went in on the size of the building before, so what I can do freely is make the size of the bottom part that we already did larger. 
It's fucking genius. All right, so I only have to expand these out one stud in order for them to fit. So that is absolutely perfect. And then here would be our windows there. So, this is fine. All right, we got 220 minus 2, 218. And just to make it easier, I'm just going to duplicate these ones. There we go. We can go up on this side as well. Get rid of this one. All right. So, uh, what we can do then is do this side with the same exact measurements. All right, if this goes over, uh, we can live with that. And just do the adjustments. And this goes out two studs, so let's make sure that we expand everything out e evenly. That's two. This will be two. And this will be two. And this one goes through that one. Cool. The rest is easy because we can just multi-select all that and then over to the other wall. So let me take another look at the building. Uh, I'm going to give the base around two, uh, two player heights. 
so that would be, let's say, maybe 16 studs. Just be on the safe side. All right. Oh, this is perfect right here. That's perfect. Now, I don't really, I don't really want to put interior on this building. Um, I don't really have plans to right now, so mm, what we're going to do is just make the everything solid, pretty much. Right now, EMS is getting toned, so I really, really hope I don't midstream. Though I had my call earlier today, some fishermen lighting fires. For whatever reason they were. And it was probably contained in some way on a beach. But. Um. Hmm, because if I mass duplicate them right now, then I'll have to resize all of them individually. So let's just do the smart thing. Ooh, same thing as the other building. We can get rid of all of this and make it one part. And then I won't even need those spacer columns because they all are going to be one thing. Okay, so that can be done. And what I'll do is, let's go two studs up. That's perfect right there. And then this will be the gray part. Let's make it point 0.2. Oh boy. Okay, so this is two sixty two wide. Two sixty one point nine five. I think this will work because I can do the entire section. But then I run into the issue here 
of if this is set in like that. Okay, maybe the 0.025 trick will work here. So let's try it, right? All right, so I will assume that that worked. Then I will get rid of all of this class that we don't need. Oh shit. I didn't change the measurement back. It's very smart to check for that. Uh, I can't tell if there's a gap here or not. This would be 0.5, right? So if I can't tell that there's a gap here, let's change one of these to white. There is not. Yup, now I can see that there are overlapping parts. There we go. done so oh I didn't get rid of these ones that's why I don't see that part I have to get rid of this side too we have a gap here though it is okay Wait, actually, is it? Is there only one glass part? Ah, uh, there is. Thought I duplicated it. Actually, can I use one glass? I can. Ho ho, I have discovered the secret. There we go. This is the right distance. Yes, it is. Oh boy, oh boy. So I really just want to make a simplistic uh, high rise. Uh, maybe like something that you would see in a uh, police NYC or a game like that. Just keeping it nice and simple for this case, so that way we can get this done, number one, a lot quicker. And number two, because uh, this building won't really have too much importance in the game. So, it's really just there for more of these, uh, uh, yeah, it's really just there more for the aesthetic. So, that's going to be the focus.
All right, and then this floor actually is going to look more like that. Then we decide how many levels we want to go up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, I kind of lost count, but we're gonna go from this place. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Um, let's go to 42. <laughs> let's go to 42. Because even it's it's hard to count even on Google Maps. So what is the combined height? So this is 10, and this is 3. So that would be 13. Does that line up? Yes. 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so this is if this is 20, we add an additional 20. Look at this fucking sorcery over here, right? And then we add two. Holy shit. <laughs> We've completed a majority of the building. All right. All right. So we have uh, 44 minus 593.5. Is Where did all the... What? Okay. Well, actually, wait. 13 times 42. Five forty-six. Let's see if we can do this first try, right? Oh, we need to add uh, three more. Five forty nine. All right, today's number to remember is five forty nine. Those are the lottery numbers, everybody.
Actually, if I really wanted to be smarter with the building design, get rid of these columns. This will save on part count by a lot. So for my um, probationary developers out there, uh, please watch this stream and take notes. So we can really simplify the amount of parts that we use on the building. So we're doing each individual column and then I'm going to have to do each individual column uh, back the other way. Oh shit, way too much. So we can make a nice looking building, right? And then have it take as little amount of parts as possible. And even here, too, the black part. I don't need this at all. <laughs> because. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> because I can make it go away. <laughs> like, when you find these tricks, it's, it's so funny and so stupid. Because you realize how simple you can make it and how like complex that you originally thought of it. Now I'm going to have to find all those black parts. So let's move this over by an increment of 50. Get rid of all the black and then put it back. So we can get rid of all these windows. And basically just conserve our part count. Right, so we got rid of all that, then we put this part back, and boom, <laughs> the exact same results. Heck, what was the number to remember? Oh god. 549? Aha, uh -huh, I remembered the number to remember. I told you guys, those were the lottery numbers tonight. You gotta remember that shit. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun over here. It's so stupid. Uh, 
All right, so then we really just made a very simple building using minimal parts while still maintaining the realistic design. What is it? SONY is the coolest and uh, coolest game on Roblox, right? Although it is still in development. All right, so now it's just a now it's just a matter of the tedious part here of going over each column, raising it to the height that we need. And then once I do two sides, I'm going to get rid of the columns from the other two sides and then just expand the columns um, so that way they go through the rest of the building. All right, so let's make sure that we got rid of the columns on on this side. What is it though? SONY is a emergency service role play game based in New York City. Also, based in New York City in the present time including teams such as FDNY, NYPD um, as the main ones. Uh, state police will be state police will be added, uh, corrections, board authority. Those are in the plans. All right, so this is two and then this is 220. Come on. Hang on, are we not getting through the whole... We're not getting through the whole building. What? Oh, this is the 260 measurement, isn't it? So in that case, 260. Now it will go through the rest of the building. Cool. And also, development applications are in our available in our Discord. You can find the link in the description of the stream. And we also do take community contributions, so you can still make stuff even if you're not a developer and you want to help out. And we will gladly appreciate uh, work from the community because that does help our developers out a lot.
I gotta stop running all the way past the building with this part size. Uh, give me a second, uh, zombie. I'll look in the in the dev Discord in a second. What the? F it's relatively easy to take a building that doesn't have interior and add interior uh, just by duplicating and then spreading out all the parts that cover up the whole inside of the base. So I'm not really worried about if I have to convert this building into a uh, occupied building. And the ground floor can also have interior if we want to. We don't have to make the whole building have it. And we're almost done with this side, and then we have to do the opposite side. All right, you know what? I like doing things the hard way. But we do have a lovely tool here. Boom. This is the 220 side, so then we select all of these, not the black part. We select all of the columns. All right, and then we go all the way over. That is perfect. That is perfect. Simple building, done very quickly. Although we still have to do the ground level, that's no problem. There we go. So, F3X a lot of people just use when they're developing all the time. Um, but as for me, I only use really F3X if I need to multi-select and move uh, multiple parts the same distance at the same time. Much like what you just saw here. So I don't have to do every one of them individually. Alright, I'll check Discord real quick. Keep up on some feedback. Anything's going on. All right, there we go. So then the ground level, we have these. Uh, oh, wait. I did not go up on this side, did I? No, because this column's good. This column's good. This column's good. So here's what I'll do. I'll just delete that one and then duplicate this one and move it.
Did that line up where I wanted it to? And it did. Okay, cool. <laughs> Cause <laughs> I go away for half an hour and then there's a whole building right there. Indeed. This is how we roll. I have to go down on this one. It's just so hard to see because it's dark. So. It's fine. All right. And then this will be the uh, shopping area. So let's go back to Google for a second. We actually have some like ventilation things where like the window changes on the upper floors. Uh, we could very easily add that. Basically just cover up the windows. So we have one, two, three, four, five columns on that side. Is that accurate? Yeah, it looks accurate. All right, so there is space between the columns. Space between the columns and the storefront, which I don't know if I'll actually build the storefronts uh, much like in the other buildings. I think we could just leave it. And then uh, as we move forward. I can add the storefronts later. Just because number one, that saves me a lot of time right now. And uh, number two, uh, we can add the storefronts when we want to and we can open it up in that way. So let's expand this out. I think what we'll do is we'll actually go all the way forward and then back one. That might be the best idea. So that way we don't have any gaps between it on this level. There you go. Do you recommend using free models or no? Uh, much like, yeah, I would I would agree with uh, Koss, the response that Koss had, where they are very good if you want to use for references, like scaling and stuff like that, or as to figure out how somebody else built something. Um, but using free models, like just slapping free models into the game and calling it a game, not really. I mean, you really have to... If you're going to use free models, make them your own. I 
I believe this is the midpoint here. Actually, wait, is this... Uh, you know what, let's do this, right? So this is on the z-axis. So the coordinate is 31796. This one is the center. That's also 31796. All right, one, two, this one goes down. Oh, but then we run into an issue where there wouldn't be a gap. So, we would have to run this down. Right, so right now this is aligned with the center. All right, so this is four. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Um, that still wouldn't work either. Unless it wasn't aligned with the windows. Because right now this would be six. Hang on, how many windows do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Twenty-six does not evenly divide by six. And we would have 4.33 repeating. All right, so the center point again, 31 point, so that would be right there. What if we try it? 40 point three because each window is ten. Actually, but we would have to start on the corners, otherwise it wouldn't be right. Nope, doesn't work. So, like, does it really matter if there is exactly six? Well, 
Wait, 222 divided by 6. 37. Ooh, that might be the key. Never mind, it's not. How the fuck? This is, this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But wait, do they look evenly spaced? Kind of. Why is that the case? Actually, no, because I'm including the outer two posts, but that's what I want to do. Hmm. Clearly, this does not work as anticipated. However, I don't really see any problems with it right now. Hang on, where's the middle? Right here. Yeah. It's not it's not bad. It's not terrible. Wait, actually, what if we started from the center? Would that change anything? Yes, dramatically. It's just, it just doesn't work. Actually, wait, no, this is the 262 side, right? This is the longer side? Yes, and I've been doing the other side. So that's why it doesn't line up. I need to do the 262 divided by 6. Two sixty two divided by six is not two sixty eight. I think I did addition in there. Forty three point six repeating. There's a different number. Oh my fucking god. Why? Make this white for a second so we can see. One, two, three. Wait, how many posts? One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I have to divide it by seven?
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Let's start over. Same number divided by five. Fifty two point four. That is a number that I like to use a lot better. What the f what is it what um, What is it with it lining up perfectly on the outside? I I hate that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, fine. Two sixty instead of two sixty two divided by five. So that would be fifty two. Should line up perfectly. Oh my god, we figured it out. All of that complex math and dividing finally paid off <laughs> oh boy um okay so let's take this then we have 220 divided by 4 55 i'm looking for five columns at the end this is two three four and that would be five perfect that's it. Let's try moving it by 260 and see if we get it lined up on the first try. Yes, that worked. This one would be 220. On the other side. Cool. Anything wrong on the roof? Why does the roof have a weird... Oh, wait. Yeah. Plugins F3X move by two. Let's lower down all these columns by two, and then we can give ourselves a roof with like an air conditioning uh, system like they have. Just something simple. I mean, nobody's really going to see the roof in-game, so it doesn't really matter, but it will add more if we do that. So let's just keep on selecting all of these. Until we get to this side. Alright, cool.
We'll make this concrete. There we go. And we just add like it doesn't even have to be too extreme here. This is like the roof access area here in real life. We'll make it 28 tall. All right, 100 by 80 looks good. And then on the back side, we'll have the, uh, the fan system. Just something simple. It doesn't need to be overly detailed in this case because really nobody's going to be up here unless they have admin and they're flying around. But it does add to the aesthetic, especially if you're doing like an observatory. Like if we open up uh, the Empire State Building or One World Trade Center, then you'll kind of see uh, bits and pieces of it. So it doesn't have to be overly detailed because you're not next to it, uh, but should be somewhat, uh, somewhat there. All right, let's see here. This is the one side. There we go. All right, so then. There we go. Nice and simple. Look at how that look at how that looks overall. Simplistic building design using as minimal parts as possible while still being decent. We can actually add to this design. So here's what we can do. Right now the, the glass parts are smooth plastic. If we change them to the glass material, now they actually reflect. And maybe we can add a little bit of uh, transparency too.
because it adds to the look. So now you can see the windows better on the ground. They don't really blend in as much. And they reflect. You can definitely see with the sunlight reflection there. And even if we up the reflectance, let's say 0.2, that's even better. There we go. This is perfect. So just like that, using as minimal as minimal parts as possible. So uh, let's actually make a new marker for this building while we're at it. So we can identify where it is in case I need to reference that uh, for whatever reason in the future. This is the corner of... Uh, This is between two blocks, so I will just say that it is the corner of 6th and 30... Wait, no. 45th. This is 116 6th Avenue. Or 1166. There we go. All right, simple building design, uh, mostly done. Actually, this should be metallic. There we go. All right, let's group it all together. The bottom part does not count. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can make this better. We can union them just to be on the safe side, keep everything together. All right. So then I select everything, deselect this, deselect this, and group. And then I will give it the uh, name. There we go. Nice and simple. All right, so I think that we should add this into the game.
All right, so we switched over here. And we're going to move this over. Over, over, over. Look at that. This adds a ton to the game already. Um, but we need to center it. So the, this is the Z axis. Two three eight zero two oh There we go, it's centered that way. And then I need to figure out how much we took off in the beginning. Actually, we might be able to figure that out. Because if the... It's got to be 20. Just trying to make sure everything's aligned here. We do have it sticking out a little bit. Auto saves all the time. It's annoying, but does help. So that way we don't lose any progress. All right. This is 19. So then the whole building needs to be moved over one. Cool. Is it at the right height? That I don't know. And we need like the green space back here, so I'll leave some area for that. We can have some like park or kind of relaxation areas. And that still leaves us a good amount of space for more stuff on the other side. Because that's really what I want to do is try and put buildings. All right, so just to take up the space here, make this all blend in with the sidewalk, and then get rid of the original part by moving it down. There we go. Yet another building added into the map. And we do have the wider sidewalks here, so we're going to, in the future when we move on, 
we're going to add the, the trees and stuff like that to add the rest of the detail, especially with the little park section behind it. I really like that idea and uh, think that we should incorporate that into the game. Because we could use some more green space, I think, because Central Park is the only place right now. All right, and then um, the only other thing that I would need to do with this building is add the uh, the lights, like the other buildings. But I think I'll do that later on uh, when I'm not uh, when I'm not streaming. Uh, if you if I'm added to the Will's Taco Place, I'll add it somewhere. Probably on this street, because this is 6th Ave, and you see a lot of them, or, time, or the Times Square area. Alright, so we have, I think the most of our building activity has pretty much gone on on this, in this section. I mean, look, we have the Empire State Building, the other general building, the new one, and then 432 Park Ave, and then Sam's, Sam's building on the Upper East Side there. But if you look on the other side, there's building spaced out here. We have the Times Square substation, uh, the Ladder 24 station, Rescue 1's over there, Engine 54's over there, and we have Jamie's building back there. Alright, I like that. I think that that is a good place to to stop at now that we've done that building. We're definitely going to have to make more buildings for SONY as you can see we have a lot of space to work with uh, that we need to put buildings in. And it's nice to build something from 6th Avenue uh, because there's a lot of interesting buildings there. Alright but so far I'd say that uh, that is pretty much should I have my own taco stand? Tacos, tacos. Oh boy. I'd say that that's a good place to end for today. Uh, I have a busy day ahead of me tomorrow, so I'm not going to stay up all night working on buildings. But we are about to reach the two-hour mark. So for those of you who have been watching, thank you guys so much for tuning in and for all the support to my channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a like on the video, and uh, make sure you have notifications on because I do post a lot of uh, videos and have a lot of streams. Uh, so that way you can be constantly notified and be sure to get in on the action as quick as possible. So that way you can check out what's new. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the stream. I really like the new building, and we definitely have a lot more new buildings to work on uh, moving forward. So anyway, that is all. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Okay, bye.